Next, let's create some hand-drawn characters for the page, such as sound effects. The letters will be drawn along the letters drafted in red. I create a new layer and zoom in on the part where I want to place the letters. For this one, I'm going to use the mapping pen from the pen tools. From the color wheel, I select white as my drawing color. In the brush size palette, I'm selecting a large brush. Add some white letters. Once I'm done, I turn on the border effect in the layer property palette. I select the black color from the color wheel next and change the edge color by clicking on the bar. Then, I adjust the thickness of the black border with the slider. The letters are above the figures right now, so I will add another white outline to them. To do that, I create a new folder in the layer palette. I move the layer I previously drew on into that folder. By selecting the layer and adding the border effect to the folder itself, I can add the second border to the hand-drawn characters. There are more letters I want to draw, so I create another new layer with black letters this time and write them out. If the layer is moved into the previously created folder with the white border effect, it will be applied to these letters as well. In case you want to create letters like that using tones, this is how you can do it. First, I change the opacity of the layer with written letters and switch on the tone feature in the layer property palette. The tone changes according to the layer's opacity. Once the tone is applied, the screen frequency can be matched with other tones on the page. If I switch off the tone feature, I can revert it. With that, the sound effects are done.